certainly one of the all-time greats to wear the Rangers sweater. You can see just where he ranks in franchise history. The question is where he ranks all-time, and if it's enough to make him a first ballot Hall of Famer, we will find out who gets the call to the Hall this year on June 21st, which is next Wednesday. And I'm saying Henrik Lundqvist is on that. Do you think he's going to go this year in his first year of eligibility? I think so. I mean, Hanky is um, he, he's unique. And and the reason why I say this, we, we know how prepared he is off the ice. He was even more so on the ice. He, the, the preparedness uh, is second to none. But the other thing about him, too, is and I, I was very fortunate in my career to be around Marty, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury, and, mm. and Henrik Lundqvist. And all of them are different. They're all great in their own right. But Hank, his competitive nature, he will rip your head off to win. Like, he is the ultimate competitor. And I, I don't think that that's always known. Yeah. Unless you maybe see that. And I, I only saw it for a little bit. I mean, you saw the guys who played with him much longer and, and know him much more. But uh, he is an elite competitor and gamer. And, and uh, he made that Rangers team a lot better than they were in a lot of seasons. Yeah. And his numbers uh, were fantastic. So the one big thing is always going to be the cup. Um, the elusive cup for Henrik Lundqvist, but man, this guy is a Hall of Famer through and through, in my opinion. It's the Hockey Hall of Fame, not just the NHL Hall of Fame, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a gold medal that was, was massive for Sweden yep. when they won that in 06. He's got World Championship gold medals, so he's he's won it all elsewhere, not just not in the NHL. He is unquestionably no-brainer, slam dunk, lock him in, first ballot Hall of Famer. He might be the best goaltender of this entire generation. Wow. Even though he didn't win a cup. Like, wow. What he did for... The New York Rangers, the load that he carried, what they asked of him, and the way that they played in front of him for a long time, we think about torch. But previous to that, you know, they, he had to be great every year, and he was. And he played a ton, and he won a ton. So, to me, absolute lock. <laughs> Not lock for the Hall of Fame, first ballot lock. He's that good in my mind. Um, when you look at some of the underlying analytic numbers for goaltenders, he was tops of his generation of goalies. So, he's... Um, since the very beginning, he's been ready to go. Here, here's my Lundqvist story, though. I was playing an 04 work stoppage in Faryastad in Sweden. We played Frölunda, Henrik Lundqvist's team, in the finals. And I'd never heard of Henrik Lundqvist. I was over in Sweden. He was drafted the year before. I, I didn't know who he was. And we, they beat us in the final, in large part because Henrik Lundqvist was that good. I come home that summer, and my good friend Kevin Weeks, who's the starter for the Rangers, I see him in Toronto with the gym, and we're talking about overseas, and... He's like, what's that Lundqvist like? I'm like, Weeksy, I love you. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Uh, respectfully, you're in, a, you're, you're in a battle. He is really, really good. And, of course, uh, he turned out to be yeah. just that good and then some. But right from the get-go in, in Europe, I'm like, who is this guy? Yeah. And then he came over, and he was every bit that good right away. No, that's a great story. I love that. In, in, in a lot of goalies, and Johnny, you've, you've seen it too, a lot of goalies don't like breakaways in practice. They don't like playing rebounds mm -hmm. in practice. This is yeah. National Hockey League. They'll save that first shot. Mm, just give me the next one. You know, they, they, they're they in a little hmm. bit of, like, maintenance mode. Not this guy. <laughs> he competes. And I remember the first day I got to the Rangers, at the end of practice, we're doing breakaways nonstop. He'll take as many, as long as that line is, how many times you want to go, he'll handle those breakaways and he'll compete. So do you have that clip again of Breer in the Winter Classic? I remember in that Winter Classic in mm -hmm. 2012, you got Danny Breer gets that penalty shot. Late. Late in the game. And you know the game is on the line. Yeah. I'm like, this is the one position I have no worries in the world. I got no worries in the world. We're scoring goals before that. Yeah, yeah. So let's watch yeah. this a little bit more. Sprinkle, <laughs> sprinkle that in first. Absolutely. But, uh, but, you know, you're like, I'm so secure in this situation that right. Hank's got this. And plus the Winter Classic ice, you know, it's going to get a little chewed up. We got this locked down. And Henrik Lundqvist made the biggest save. Right. We didn't even see it there. But, uh, he made a couple nice though. ones there, yeah. too. Yeah. But, but he was, that's how locked in this guy is. And it's the preparation that goes into it. You're not good at breakaways. Guess what? Unless you work on breakaways. And this guy did it every single yeah. day in practice. And one more thought, too. He had a great relationship with Benoit Allaire. Benny Allaire is a long time, one of the best goalie coaches in the league. And he had a great relationship on how he likes to play. Henrik Lundqvist was played deep in his net, mm. quick feet upright, tall enough to get his shoulders to the crossbar. And him and Benny had this symbiotic relationship for, you know, a decade. And uh, I'm sure that uh, if you were to ask Henrik Lundqvist about influences on his game, yeah. Benny uh, Allaire at the NHL level was a big part of them working together to turn him into, again, surefire, no-doubter, <laughs> slam dunk, first yeah. ballot Hall of Famer.